and families, my name is Mrs. Boniface and I am the principal at Mouse Mountain School. I'd like to welcome you to our school and I'd like to acknowledge that Mouse Mountain is located on the traditional lands of the Stelaton First Nations and the Nodley Bhutan First Nations. Welcome! Let's come on in and take a look at the school. Let's come on in the front door, and our first stop will be Mrs. Anderson's classroom. Hi there, I'm Mrs. Anderson and I teach kindergarten in grade one. This is my classroom. As we come up the stairs, we'll visit the front office. Hi everybody, I'm Mrs. Stanga and I work at the office at the school. I'm so excited to meet you. As we come down the hallway, you'll notice we have a special sensory pathway. Our pathway includes different actions like jumps, squats, and crab walking. Let's come and visit the self-regulation room next. Our self-regulation room is a spot that students can use when they need a break with adult supervision. Now let's visit the library. I'm Ms. Sandbach, I'm a resource teacher here at Mouse Mountain, and I also get to teach library. Just down the hall from the library is Mrs. Byers' classroom. Hi, I'm Mrs. Byer. I teach kindergarten. Welcome to my classroom. Let's meet a few more people. Hi, I'm Mrs. Eiser. I teach early learning. I can't wait to work with you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Welsh, and I'm one of the Aboriginal education workers here at Mouse Mountain. I look forward to working with you guys in the fall. Hi, I'm Mrs. Duncan. I'm the Aboriginal education worker here and homeschool coordinator. Can't wait to see you in the fall. Here is our computer lab. And here is our gym where we host assemblies and concerts and have lots of fun. Outside, we have our playground. We come outside every day to play at recess and at lunch. At the end of the day, parents will pick up along the side of our school, or if you're taking the bus, you'll line up at your bus lineup. Here's our bus driver coming to pick students up. Well, that completes our school tour. And now it's time to have some fun together using the contents of our Welcome to Kindergarten bag. This bag is provided through the Learning Partnership and it includes lots of great activities that you can do at home. We have three different books as well as a chirp magazine. There are some crayons and scissors and a blow up ball that you can use at home. There are magnetic letters and numbers and some printouts. There's a color wheel that we'll use today, Play-Doh and some other activities to give you some ideas to do together at home as a family. Let's get started. The Welcome to Kindergarten program has some key messages. The most important one is that you are your child's first and best teacher. Starting kindergarten is an exciting milestone, but it's important to celebrate all the learning that has already happened. We hope you will continue to read, sing, play, and talk together every day. Your Welcome to Kindergarten bag contains several different books to enjoy together, including the beautiful book, You Hold Me Up by Monique Gray Smith. Find time each day to sit and read together with your child and practice the three C's of reading, cuddle, conversation, and choice. 
Our first activity together today is playing with Play-Doh. There's lots of ways that we can use Play-Doh. Mrs. Anderson is going to show us how we can use Play-Doh to form different letters of the alphabet. Families, you can follow along at home by getting your Play-Doh out from your Welcome to Kindergarten bag. All right, let's do, yeah, that's a great idea. Let's roll it out into a long snake. Yep, back and forth. There you go. Okay, we're gonna try and make a letter with our Play-Doh. Can you make the first letter in your name? What's your first letter in your name? P. Yeah. You just have to split it in half. Yeah, split it in half, good. You got it, nice. Okay, what letter should I make? Y. Y, okay. I'm gonna take that, okay, here we go. How am I doing so far? Good. Oh, thank you. All right, squish it down, there we go, there's a Y. Okay, what else should we make? Let's make the easiest letter to make with this long snake, do you know what that is? S. Or, yeah, let's make an S. I was thinking O. All right, you make an S and I'll make an O. Yeah, S is after Y. Oh, and your name? Yeah. Right. I was confused. There we go. Okay, there's my O. Let's see your S. Okay, now the only thing we have to do is flip it because it's backwards. So let's flip it this way. Oh, almost. Yeah. And this way. No, what am I doing here? There we go. There. We have O and S. Let's try and on try something different. Why don't we do, so we're gonna make numbers, but we're just gonna make little balls to show how many. So can you make five little balls? Yep. Well, I'll make five too. Two. How many do you have so far? I think you might need to break some in half. Here, there, three. How many more do you need for that one? Four. Okay, four, so. Then five. Yes. Yeah. Two more. You need two more? Yep. All right. Whoops. Four, five. You've got five. Yeah. Four. Are you going to make a smaller one? One, two, three, four, four. Good counting. All right, got one last one? Five. There we go, awesome job. You've got five. Thanks for playing, that was fun. Next, we're going to do an activity noticing print and numbers together. In your Welcome to Kindergarten bag, you have some magnetic numbers. These are great for sticking to your fridge, or to a metal cookie sheet. So for our next activity, Mrs. Byer is going to show us how we can match our magnetic numbers to your number printout. So at home, to follow along with us, you'll need a cookie sheet, your number page, and your bag of magnetic numbers. Let's go ahead. Numbers with me. Stump up the numbers. What number did you get? Can you want me to go first? Zero. Oh, you got zero. Oh. <clears throat> I got eight. Eight. Eight down the walk. Five. I got a three. Your turn. I got a two. I see that on mine. I've got a one. I got a seven. Seventeen. Oh, one and a seven would be seventeen, wouldn't it? I have a nine. Six. Oh, you better do the last one, and it's right in the middle. What is it? Four. Show me four on your fingers. Good job. Excellent. We're done. Thanks for helping. Again. Next, we're going to do an activity with our color wheel and our bag of magnetic letters. You have a bag of lowercase letters and uppercase letters. You can use either one or mix them together today. 
and Mrs. Byer is going to show us how we can use our color wheel to sort our letters by color. All right, dump out our letters. We've taken our letters out of the bag. Let's dump them out. It'll go fast. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sort these letters by color. Let's put all the same color together. Black. Red, good job. I'm gonna do orange. Red. Blue. Red. Orange. Red. Oh, I have a red too. Orange. What letter is that you just put on there? What is that? C. That's an S. S. I'm doing an A. M. Orange. An orange M. This is a B. Yellow. Green. G. Good job. A yellow D. Purple J. Yellow H. Uh-oh. Green K. Got a purple F. L green. Can you think of a word that starts with L? O. Lion. Lion. Good job. For our last activity together, we're going to do a little bit of dancing to a song called Jump Up, Jump Down. This song is available on the Welcome to Kindergarten app, so families, you can download the songs to your iPad or to your phone if you'd like to do it at home. So children, you can move along with your own dance moves or you can follow mine. It's up to you. All you need is a little bit of space. Let's dance. your nose, touch your tummy and touch your toes. You can do it alone or with a friend. Jump up, jump down and do it all again. Jump up, jump down, shake your body all around. Jump up, jump down, shake your body all around. Jump up, jump down, listen to me. It's as easy as one, two, three. Touch your shoulders, touch your eyes, touch your hips and touch your thighs. You can do it alone or with a friend. Jump up, jump down, and do it all again. Jump up, jump down, shake your body all around. Jump up, jump down, shake your body all around. Jump up, jump down, listen to me. It's as easy as one, two, three. Now raise your hands way up high. Reach, reach, reach to the sky. You can do it alone or with a friend. Jump up, jump down, and do it all again. Jump up. The Welcome to Kindergarten program has some other great resources for families. On the Learning Partnership website, you can download the Welcome to Kindergarten Family Cookbook with some great, easy, healthy meals that you can make together with your child. There are also some great ideas and resources for supporting your child with their social and emotional learning at home, talking about feelings by reading stories together, watching videos about emotions, creating a kindness calendar, praising your child when they use words to describe how they are feeling, 
and introducing different calming strategies such as deep breathing when they feel overwhelmed. And that's the end of our Welcome to Kindergarten event. We're going to leave you with some extra information about our school for next year. On Thursdays, we have hot lunch available. In September, we'll send home a hot lunch calendar and menu, and you can sign up for hot lunches if you're interested. Our school supply list is available on our website if you Google Mouse Mountain School. We will also send home a copy of our school supply list to all our new families. Parents and families, if your child will be taking the bus next year, you do need to contact the bus garage to register them, and the phone number is here. In September, our new kindergarten students will start school on a gradual entry schedule. We will email home and mail home your calendar for your gradual entry schedule at the end of the summer. Thanks for joining us today. We can't wait to see you in September.